Isn't that a fantastic scene that you would like to experience? Stay tuned. We're visiting the Dutch city of Gouda. You might think of it as Gouda, as in Gouda cheese, for which they are very famous, but the Dutch say it differently. I can try and tell you it's Gouda. It's another one of the very pretty small cities of the Netherlands. And we'll have a quick look in this brief practical guide to seeing the highlights of Gouda. It has some fine examples of that special Dutch feature of the reflecting canals lined by flowers and pedestrian lanes. But here we've got several of these charming neighborhoods we'll show you in the video. And the important building where the cheese was weighed on the main town square. An aerial view from Google Earth shows that weighing house, the Bog, and as we look around the town, we'll see the main town square with the big church on one side and the town hall in the middle with the historic center spread all around. We'll take a little walk in the heart of town and then stroll along that long canal down towards the harbor for a different viewpoint. Starting in the town center, the weighing house or Bach has for centuries been a central point in town where the all-important cheese was weighed and deals were made. It now contains the Tourist Information Center and the Cheese and Crafts Museum where you can taste and purchase a variety of cheeses. The Markt or Marketplace is the central plaza in the heart of town, home to countless pubs, restaurants and cozy sidewalk cafes. During my visit, they were just setting up for a carnival, which slightly disrupted the visual beauty of the plaza. At least it'll be fun for the local kids. Well, here's how it would look on a normal day, thanks to photos from the tourist information and from Google Earth. The exquisitely proportioned Stadthuis, or City Hall, is a gem of late Gothic and early Renaissance architecture dating from 1449 to 1459. The traditional cheese market takes place in the plaza every Thursday mornings, 10 a.m. till 12.30, from April through the end of August. I missed it, but we can see how it looks thanks to pictures from the Visitor Information Center. And we have video of a similar cheese market in Alakmar that you can find in our collection. The street alongside the marketplace is one of the busiest in town with lots of shops and especially the restaurants and bars and cafes, usually buzzing with people. One block away, Huta Kirk, or Great Church, also called St. John Church, was founded in 1485 and rebuilt after a fire in 1562. The rounded arches are borne by 36 pillars supporting the lofty barrel vaulted ceiling of dark wood. It is the longest church in the Netherlands at 123 meters. Regular concerts are performed by the famous organ, a superb example of the architecture of the late Middle Ages. Famous for its 72 stained glass windows which were made between 1530 and 1603 considered the most significant stained glass collection in the Netherlands. Named after John the Baptist, who is the patron saint of the city. Our walking route, starting at the train station and down to that central market square, into the church, then we'll continue along a beautiful canal down to the harbor, and then circling back around in a complete round-trip walking tour of the city, ending up back at the train station. Now we continue along the West Haven Canal. You can easily walk along this splendid canal from the town center, only 600 meters distance, it'll take you about five minutes, down to the historic harbor, where you'll find clippers, barges, and sailing vessels lying majestically alongside each other in the museum harbor. And most of these are still lived in. In the Middle Ages, due to its central location, the town offered passage to ships en route to Amsterdam and Flanders. After the 15th century, Gouda's role in international shipping went into decline. Walking back towards the center from the harbor, you'll see another historic site. It's a windmill, very characteristic of the Netherlands. We're taking a circular route through town, walking along yet another beautiful canal 
observing all these bicycles going back and forth. You could actually rent a bicycle here if you'd like to pedal around in town or even extend out to some of the surrounding areas. This route to the harbor and then returning along a few of the less traveled back lanes gets you off the beaten track. It's an easy stroll that doesn't take much time. And this route can bring you past another few blocks of shopping. Here you can see a benefit of being here when the cheese market is not on. You will not see very many other tourists. Then passing along a few residential blocks with their old fashioned buildings. It's nice to get away from the historic highlights for a while and into a neighborhood that's more for locals. It's quiet and peaceful over here. Then you will come around the bend and find what is perhaps the prettiest of the canal scenes in town along what's called the Turf Mart. Turf was that peat or combustible decaying soil that was very important to the old Dutch for cooking and heating their homes, much like in Ireland and elsewhere in the north of Europe. This route takes us back to the center at the marketplace. There's a lovely block behind the market square. We can have a peek at it showing that very special Dutch combination of shop fronts along a pedestrian lane next to a charming little canal. Circles on the map and next to it is the New Mart, a modern little shopping mall. Perhaps you've noticed how many bricks there are in this city. The buildings and the roads are largely made of bricks. It's been said that a billion bricks have been created in the history of this city. And that's largely because the land of the Western Netherlands is rich in clay soil. Easy to make bricks from it. Similar to cobblestone pavement found in many old European towns, but the bricks are even smoother. They'll come through with a machine and pound it down, make it nice and level. This is right along one of the main streets of the city. It leads from the town square over to the train station, which is where we are heading, wrapping up our visit to the beautiful city of Gouda. It's a pleasant walk to the train station, passing the single canal around the city. It's only 800 meters from the central market square over to the train station, so you can do that in five or 10 minutes. Gouda is generally visited as a day trip from other nearby cities, which are only 20 to 30 minutes away by train. Even all the way to Amsterdam is just 52 minutes. So you can easily visit Gouda for most of a day without spending the night there. Or if you wish to overnight, there are some fine hotels, such as a four-star Best Western. The superb Dutch rail system makes it very easy to travel around in this relatively small nation. As you will see in our many other movies about the Netherlands, where we take you to all of the highlights of this wonderful country. Look for them in our collection. We upload a new travel movie every week, so if you want to be informed, please subscribe and click that little alarm bell so you'll be notified. And if you enjoyed the movie, how about a thumbs up? And we always welcome comments down below. Or if you have questions about the destination, make note and we'll answer them. Thanks for watching.